Well, the future is now. Students studying medicine at Temple College are prime example. Yeah, and they are using some advanced technology to not only learn, but also experience what they wouldn't otherwise be learning and doing by putting those life-saving stills to the test. Fox 44's Noelia Mendoza shows us where the school hopes technology is going to take their students in their career. Hello? EMS? Hello? What's going on today, sir? Although it looks like Beast Temple College EMS students are interacting with an imaginary person, Help me. that's not the case. So when they actually get to see the skin color change instead of this little voice in the head going, your patient is now blue, or your patient has stopped breathing, or even, you know, your patient has stopped seizing, they can actually see it now. And I think that the realism that it provides for them helps it click just a little bit more. In fact, this is what students are actually seeing. How do, you, how do you feel without oxygen on? These lenses making it all possible. The light bulbs go off and they want to react instantly, so I think that's great. It prepares them better for real world scenarios so they don't have to, you know, stop and think and they could jump right in and, and get after it and take care of patients. These holographic lenses are different from virtual reality lenses in which they provide augmented reality in the real world. We've had it for about a year. Um, we are the beta testers, so this is a company out of San Antonio that came to us uh, through our simulations director and uh, asked if we'd be interested. And, you know, we always want to be on the, the cutting edge, you know, latest and greatest. And it's really been um, uh, well used, well liked. Uh, we're definitely uh, playing with it a lot. Although teachers enjoy having that different element in their lesson plans, it's students who benefit the most. Yeah, he's seizing right now. It adds a new dynamic to how uh, the students will be able to assess patients. So often we'll run scenarios and we'll have a mannequin, but being able to see how the patient responds, whether they're having a seizure or what their skin color looks like, things that uh, regular some mannequins cannot portray. Um, having a virtual reality allows us to um, actually assess the patient and be able to see what's really going on. The lenses also allow the option of bringing a mannequin to life. Oh, I can see I'm breathing. <laughs> Not me. We can have this one talk, you know, we can actually talk for it as well too and its lips will move and you know with all the new animojis and stuff that are coming out it's pretty pretty amazing. And then they also get to see in a controlled environment you know, whereas it's not a live patient, you know, so there is an opportunity to kind of slow down, uh, learn, reset, you know, figure out what you did wrong and for others to watch. Allowing all Temple College students to practice on the closest thing to a real person. It's here. It's real. It's happening now. You know, you always see like holograms and stuff in TV shows and movies. Yeah, but we're using it to train people, you know, for pre-hospital medicine. So it's really great. And I like that it's not just for pre-hospital medicine. I mean, you can use this anywhere for any type of training. Giving them the tools. I'll take over. EMS, hello. To be able to save lives in the real world. It's a difficult transition when you're dealing with a real person versus a mannequin. And having this, having a, a, a simulator um, and a virtual reality that acts like a real person will help us adjust, I think, more to that transition. Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.